Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the last word. But first, this. Now let's get into some history. The last word is considered a Prohibition era cocktail, and the first publication in which this shows up is Ted Saucier's 1951 cocktail book, Bottoms Up. Now in it, Saucier states that the cocktail was first served around 30 years prior to that at the Detroit Athletic Club, and then later introduced to New York by Frank Fogarty. Now, John Friswell, who was doing some research at the Destroyed Athletic Club, found the last word on a 1916 menu for 35 cents. Now, that would be about $8.25, but it was the most expensive item on that menu. Now, the cocktail, however, sort of vanished and died out around World War II until it was rediscovered by Murray Stenson in 2004 after he found a 1952 copy of Saucier's book. Soon after being offered at the Zigzag Cafe where he worked, it became somewhat of a cult hit in Seattle and Portland areas, and then it spread all over the world. But in May 20th of 2011, Rachel Maddow demonstrated the preparation of the cocktail for her show on MSNBC called The Last Word for the End of the World. Now this was meant as an ironic comment on the raptured end of the world prediction of the Christian radio host Harold Camping. And guess what Harold? We're still here, and we're still drinking the last word. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I need for my copy of the last word is my shaking glass. I also need some gin. This is a very, very simple one to one to one to one ratio cocktail. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use a little bit of Muskoka gin here and I need three quarters of an ounce. Oops, that's a bit much. Now the next thing, of course, I need is three quarters of an ounce of a green chartreuse. Now green chartreuse is a liqueur made from 130 different types of herbs. It's 55%. You know what? I've never tried this. This is actually made by the monks in the French Alps. Ooh, that's not bad. Well, that clears the sinuses. I also then need three quarters of an ounce of a maraschino liqueur, and I'm using Luxardo here. And of course, I will also need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Now three quarters of an ounce does work out to 22 and a half milliliters. So of course what we're going to do is we're going to put some ice in this and then we're going to give it a shake. And we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Look at that. Now you can't see into this cup at the moment, but you will in just a moment. So we're going to serve this in our coupe glass. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to fine strain this. And we're doing this to get some of the ice chips out and any of the pulp that might still actually be out in there out. Look at that beautiful looking cocktail. And you know what? A lot of people serve this with a dark maraschino cherry. I don't have one. So I'm going to leave this as it is so it can stand on its own. So let's give it a smell. It smells good. It looks good. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. The gin is definitely cut by the chartreuse and the Luxardo Sherry. It's nice and sweet. You get a little bit of that lime juice. Absolutely a really good cocktail. And you know what? I recommend that. Oh yeah. 
I could see why you'd like a few of those. Tell me in the comments down below if you'd use a different type of gin or if you'd use any other substitution for any of these. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this directly in my description. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time you place a new, I place a new video, you will be notified. But if you didn't like this, too bad. And we'll see you next time. So let's get into some history. Now the last word is a considered. Found the last word on a 1962 menu, 1916. And he did that after he found a 1952 copy of Saucier's book. Now soon after, stop it. <laughs>